Um, hello everyone, this is Mr. Warlock FTW. I've decided to do a little bit of recording testing, whatever. Um, and I've already started a character, but I want to start him back at beginning part. There we go. And I've already I had a couple mods loaded before that that were uh, I took off. So it says that it, okay. I let all these things load. Um, I believe I have configured everything except for a couple things. Um, let me see what was it. Got a lot of mods installed, but not nearly as many as I normally do. I wanted to trim down some of my mod list to see if I could get it to be fully stable for at least longer than uh, <laughs> longer than uh, maybe 30 hours that I usually had, where I could play it for you know the whole time of a let's play or something. Um. I think it was Jackson's Positioner. Let's see. I think, yeah, I wanted to... No, not that one. Uh, that was like that. No, okay. This one needs to change that. And this one needs to change that. Because um, I'm using... I had those buttons set to uh, the record and stop record buttons and I would remapped them and I decided to just change it to the default here so I wouldn't have to worry about it. There's a few mods I have installed that I've never used before and I think it's a good idea to um, well I tested it a little bit but I hadn't used it before a week ago. Uh, one is, let me see, Take Notes. I think I had the beta version of it when it first came out, but they've improved it quite a bit. So um, this basically allows you to have your own journal book that you can write in. And I like that idea. It lets you take notes on different things that you want to keep a thumb on you know so you don't have to put like a tracking marker on it speaking of tracking markers um, I'm using Jackson's map markers which allows you to place your own custom map markers on items people locations and things like that um, helmet toggle I haven't used that one before and now I'm using it allows you to hide your helmet and still have the properties of having a helmet. Um, I took the creature overhaul mod off because it was a, a conflicting with something else. And I was using familiar faces but it was also not working properly with some other mods like um, Amazing Follower Tweaks I believe it was conflicting. Um, Dynamic Things is a cool mod. Let's see. Can, I've never used Command Dragon, and I would like to try that, but I'll have to wait until I actually get to Cellstein to be able to see what that how that works. Um, I've never used Apocalypse spells before. I was going to use uh, the Midas Magic spells, but it interferes with my um, perk overhaul mod that I'm using Spurg and Spurg I've been using for quite a while uh, when you use this with um, Midas Magic uh, it changes uh, one of the perk trees so it doesn't level properly with the Conjuration I believe it adds a perk that lets you have a hundred summon creatures or something but we got lots of stuff here um, 
I thought I deleted familiar faces. Why does it have a dollar sign there? Oh, I deleted it, but it didn't um, get rid of the thing. I might have to clean my game. But um, I might have to save it and then reload it and then clean it. Let's do that. see if reloading it gets rid of it I have no idea but it's not allowing yeah there we go I got rid of it hmm anyway I've pretty much set everything up here there's a couple mods that are not in the MCM that I'm using uh, one is let's see where is it it's in the uh, the add item menu and it's version 2 it allows you to well, first it allows you to get a couple spells or an item um, I'll just get this and go here um, add item menu this allows you to basically go into all the ESP files and ESMs and you know let's go to Blazer Overtide. I don't know if there's an item. Yeah there is there's a book. I can summon him and uh that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna get him right now because I'm in the uh alternate start live another life mod and I haven't started my character yet. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. So I'm just gonna do... I'm just testing things here so I don't want to go into like a guild or something. Let's um... Actually the best way to test things for certain mods is to do the vanilla start but that would take too long maybe I don't know I'm planning on making this a long video but I don't want it to be <laughs> that long uh, let's do a patron in the local inn are you a patron of uh, Riverwood it's fine even the lowest among us can rise to greatness okay so this mod has changed quite a bit the uh, alternate start mod um, they changed the room and everything and gave you a lot more options so I'm gonna sleep in the bed also got an audio Come on in. Uh, mod that anything. changes Board a few things alright I'm also not using frostfall um, Orgnar. Orgnar. which listening? I haven't Far played a game so. on Skyrim without frostfall yeah, in at least half a year. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to see about some of this. Oh, yeah, I'm using the uh, immersive first person view. I've never used that one either. <laughs> uh, let's stop brewing. I don't have anything to brew with. See, I can see my body. Okay, I want to. <laughs> uh, I wanted to try this with the um, with riding a horse. So, one of the cool things about modding is you can you don't have to play the same game twice. Wait, so a costume? You're not serious. <laughs> sure I am. We got some furs and tree branches, paint them white, and then tie them to stump. Instant frostbite spider. Okay, so since I wanted to test out that horse, um... Let's uh, go with the blaze of the Evertide if I can find it again. <laughs> um, not convenient horses. Where is it? Should be under. Because I think these are in my lo uh, the same as my load order. So it should be. I think I passed it. Yep, I passed it. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, 
Ah, here it is. Uh, normally you'd find this in, I think, someone's house. I can't remember. I'll have to look at the mod. I'm just going to cheat and get the book. Um, let's go to books. There we go. This allows you to summon the, the horse. Teaches you new powers. Okay. Uh, summoning and then blaze deployment. I'm going to favorite those two. Configuration menu, blaze summoning power will also serve as a configuration tool if used in, anyway, let's click the configuration, um, no, I don't want them to always follow, I have, um, whatchamacallit, better, or convenient horses, yeah, it was convenient horses. Um, never. <laughs> I want to see if it's compatible. Light. Uh, toggle light emulate, uh, emulants or auto disable when player is sneaking. I don't know what that means. Um, unsummonable. Allows Blaze summoning power to act as a toggle. Perform the summoning if Blaze is already summoned. Okay, yes, I would like that. That'd be cool. Whoa, okay. This is cool. Nice. Go in third person just to see this in action. I like the sizzling effect. <laughs> All right, let's. Um, convenient horses is updating its stuff, so I kind of don't want to do much while it's doing that. And the first time you ride a horse, it updates with uh, convenient horses. This is awesome. I can ride a horse in first person it's a little bit a little bit wonky okay I can steer with the mouse like normal oh she was um, the only thing is I couldn't can't really aim with a okay I can aim when I'm not moving okay that's a little bit interesting I can do it like this that's pretty cool. Let me um, find if I have a weapon. Ooh, okay. Okay, that didn't work too good. I'm gonna try to change the field of view. Um, we'll go 80. Let's see if that. Oh, what the heck? Uh, okay, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. 80. Give me a little bit more room on the horse. Okay. That works okay. <laughs> and that's basically doing this and then this. I don't have a bow on me or else I'd try that. Oh, she was. What do you want? Okay, let me get off. I've Hi. been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Mm -hmm. That's another mod I have. I also have Provincial uh, Courier installed, so he has his own house, and he has to actually run to me. No teleporting to me. I'm the only one that can teleport. Uh, so he's running back to his house. One thing I kind of wish, I know in the normal game you don't have it on your back and so the animation is in third person only that you take your sword off your back like like this 
see um, when you're when you have the mod to have it on your back but in first person it takes it off on the side I don't know I don't like that can't have everything but who are you that shady Sam I have no idea <laughs> Need yeah. Something. Yep, he's Shady Sam. Okay. Also, I wish you could get on the horse from both sides, but that's nitpicking. This is so cool. I'll have to get used to it, though. It is running pretty good, at least on my computer's end. Um, uh, move, <laughs> move, elk, or whatever you are, deer, hello wolves, oh, I can't, I forgot you can't really turn very well when you're sprinting, let me turn on the, uh, heads up display, okay, Let me try a different mod and unsummon what's his face? Blaze. Alright. He's gone. Let's try add item menu again. Of course this is just for testing. I don't do this in the normal game, but it's it's okay. Uh they've got all the armor mods. Um I wanted the fly mod. because I got the flying mod and the animated dragon wings but I'll do that later um... kinda... let me think yeah I want the flying mod first let's just do flying tome, I'll do the um... it says a flying tome configuration as well so let's do those Um, flying tone configuration. Let's do the configuration first. Okay. Stamina consumption. No cons. No stamina consumption. Up. Oh, come on. Let me do it again. Uh, speed. I've only done the normal speed, so I'll do th do that first. It's fine. I want to see how my recording uh, keeps up with it, so let me make sure. Okay. Um, effects. No, they even let you uh, make it so that you can't fly without a dragon soul. Um, but that's I'm not doing that. All right. So I'm gonna go in third person, and then we'll go in first person to see if it works well that way. So. And I'm using Force New Idols in Skyrim, so it works. And I have a... Ooh. Okay, this is pretty smooth. At least on my game. Oops, I accidentally... <laughs> um, let's put away, put away the weapon. I don't want the dang weapon. Okay. Now he's stuck. <laughs> There's some glitchiness. Um, I have to be careful not to equip my weapon or else... Oh, I can go in first person, but it makes the running noise. Oh god, there's no collision. I think that was one of the options, was collision. Whoa. Okay. That's making a different noise. I guess that's part of the uh, sound replacer mod that I'm using. Ooh. I wish I could fight in third person. I mean, in this mod, it's just it's so cool. I need a Superman cow outfit, but there's not really any good ones that I found. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Whee! Let them fight the dragon. I mean, a uh, giant, whatever. Oh, I love flying. I have tried the real flying mod. It's an alternative to this. Wee. 
Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. I got a little stutter, but it's probably going through different boundaries. Okay, let's slow down and let the game catch up. I think it's having trouble. There we go. There was things not loading. <laughs> um, so let's go into our... Not that. We're in the right one. Add item menu. And... Let's go down to the animated dragon wings. Pick one of them. I think the bloody ones will be fine. I'm not going to need more than one and I'll take one of the cure potions. So I don't have to actually make them. Let's uh, land first before we do this because I want the wings to... Oh, wrong one. Um, flying spell. There we go. <sighs> Alright, no residual effects. I want to make sure. I think I tried it with the flying, real flying spell or something like that uh, mod. And it gave me like a jump boost that wouldn't go away. <laughs> but it might have been a load order problem. Um, so let's drink the potion. Mm, potions. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool. Um, let's see if we got any spells added. Oh, yes, we have a toggle spell for bloody dragon wings. Cool. Um, that's really cool. So you only have to drink one. So let's do the flying spell awesome oh yeah I'm happy <laughs> this is so cool now the reason why it's popping in so uh, I mean is because the Eucharist load is still on 5 and I don't recommend turning that up because that can really mess up your game oh okay was there something over there? oh he's fighting a skeever okay <laughs> okay what is this? Uh, a bunch of bandits. I can't fight them while in flight mode. But I couldn't fight them anyway. I'm kind of one level one. Uh, I've heard that if you go over the wall of the city, it'll crash, so I'm not going to do that. I did read up on the mods. I just didn't uh, use them very much before. Or at all. And especially since the original release when I saw them first they've come a long way um, I just love this I'm sure if you had the stamina drain on it would be a lot harder to fly like this because I think it makes you fall out of the sky if you lose all your stamina okay so let's uh, Oh wow. Well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthgar. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, at Mount Jester's. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Yeah, she looks careful. pretty good. Thanks, Skulvar. I'll remember that. <laughs> I'm using some mods to alter the NPCs yeah, right. to make them look a little better. Um, I think all the women that you can marry Speak, elf. are changed. Okay, let me drink that potion to make my wings go away. 
cure mutagen. All right. So let's go into Whiterun. I believe my video has been about half an hour or so, or almost half an hour so far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe cut it off after a little bit, but I just want to test a few more things. Oh, uh, <laughs> that coughed me off. I am using a mod. Uh, I wish it would rain because I'm using the uh, no collision under roof or something like that mod. It's uh, when you get under here, not collision, uh, no rain under roofs or something. And it makes it so that rain and snow doesn't go through the roof. Oh yeah, I haven't done the, the uh, intro part of the game <laughs> so they won't talk to you. Um, so if anybody's interested in me doing a Let's Play again, I pretty much have my mods set up for one. It would be an interesting thing to do again. I just... We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. It's funny, there's... I, I need to take off this mod that turns the grass green in here. Because there's no grass that's green outside, it's all brown. It doesn't match. I'm not sure which mod this is, though. Whoa, it just lagged really bad there for a second. Let's go inside. Got several follower mods. Including Inigo and um, Let me know if you want anything. Vilia. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hmm. Okay. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you well, she looks a lot better. There's no stronger sword on for hire. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Oh, I want to try chopping wood with uh, in first person real quick. I think there's an axe over here, yeah. Okay. Oh, my shoulder pads are showing when I turn. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, cool. I really like this mod so far. Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I also have a mod that. <laughs> makes it so you chop wood until you hit your max carry weight so it'll do it for 52 more pieces or 48 pieces or something oh, the food looks so good. So juicy. <laughs> now that cutting room floor mod really uh, adds a lot to the game because they did take out a lot of content like that uh, conversation that happened outside of white run um, was not there in the in the original game Okay, I'm gonna cancel it. That's pretty cool. They're having different conversations. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, one of the mods I'm using changes everybody that has a generic name and gives them a name. Um, real names. This one keeps the generic names, but I don't need to. I know it's a guard. <laughs> He's wearing a guard's uniform. He wouldn't call, you know, Officer Bob, you know, police officer. Uh, well, he maybe you would, but if you knew his name, you would call him, say, hey, Officer Bob. I wish it would say, like, I mean, I guess I could do this. It keeps the generic name on top of the one that it creates randomly. And some of the names are really funny. Um, Let me make sure my timer doesn't interrupt me. Okay, I'll stop that. Okay. Uh, let me check out a couple more things. So far, I haven't really found a, a difference, really. Mister, could you spare a coin? Okay. Just one gold. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. 
Thank you. All right. Bye. <sighs> you know what I'm going to do to him? Do you, we give praise and deserve our praise, you do, for we are one. Wait, what did there I do? You ascended, and the eight Oops. became nine. You walked among us. Oh, there, that's the one I wanted. Um, wait, except okay, I took him. I, I was pushing the wrong button. <laughs> uh, now he's in my inventory. Let's see, Heimsker. Let me make sure. Uh, let's see, configuration. Positioner, where is it? Settings. Um, drop and release. No, that's something else. Move target. Okay, that's. Hmm. Take target. I think you just drop it out of your inventory and it'll put them back. I haven't done this yet, so. Let's see. Today, oh. They take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your. Businesses, your children, your very lives. I took your very life. And what huh? was the empire? <laughs> Nothing. Nay, worse. <laughs> that was satisfying. It's like, what would the elves do? Ah, <sighs> I love mods so much. Uh, I want to check out a couple more things maybe in here. I think there was something. Oh yeah, retexture of the silverware. It just says plate and whatnot, but it's silver, you know. Instead of, it was normally like a yellow color. It makes it look like they have something <laughs> rich. Um, oh wow, I'm getting a little bit of flag here in, in this building, I don't know. Let's see, conjure chest. Could have sworn there was something here. You tell him, Balgraf. That might be so, but it will never stop me from trying. Oh yeah, she, she got a facelift too. You should be talking to my steward. Keep your distance. Okay. Alright, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and uh, having fun with me, just doodling around with some mods. Uh, maybe I'll do it again, and in the next year, the new year, I will probably um, do a Let's Play if there's a demand for it. I mean, even if there isn't, I'll probably do it anyway, but it would be nice to have people watching. Um, in the beginning <laughs> I haven't done a let's play a Skyrim in a while and the last one last couple that I tried didn't end well because I didn't install mods properly or something I've learned a lot since then and uh, I've really went through my mod list with a fine-tooth comb uh, to eliminate things that are buggy to as much as I can and um, I really hope you'll join me in my next video. Uh, I'm going to make a mod list, or well, a list of my mods that I'm using at the moment with uh, probably an alphabetical order. Um, and then I'll do, it'll probably be on like a Google document and have links to all the mods that I'm using. So... Yeah, I think that'll be a pretty easy way to keep track of the mods in the description instead of putting them directly as links um, in the description. So, 
you know, uh, I can just upload, update the um, the Google Doc, and it will update all the you know video descriptions. So you just click on that link to the Google Doc, and then you'll have the master list of all the stuff that I'm using. And yeah, that'll be a cool project to do. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> uh, it may take a few hours or something to do when I have time. So yeah. Um, and I may do a face cam. I don't know if it'll be distracting for gameplay. I have a webcam and I have a green screen behind me that I use for um, live streaming sometimes. Um, and I don't know how much it'll impact performance if I did a li uh, webcam face cam with recording because it uses more CPU than streaming but uh, I can try you know I can test it but anyway uh, this video has gone on long enough thanks for watching bye bye